all right hello this is some singe gameplay in the top lane um we are against a Jax. this is not a live recording this is from my twitch vod um in just a little bit i will take a really really bad fight with uh Jax, and uh i'm going to die and that's that's my warning um avert your eyes uh when when i start fighting Jax at like i think level two or three and I'm going to be like, dude, what? Right? Anyways, um, again, no sound. Sorry. Apologies. My bad. Uh, copyrighted music just, you know, jamming a lot harder, you know, compared to uh, the free stuff, I guess. I don't know. I, I like this chill hop, right? This chill hop playlist is mostly copyright free. Sometimes it gets caught. I I'm not sure how, but yeah so this is played in yeah this is this game was worth one lp uh if you can see if it's not too blurry on the right side it says 99 lp um my mmr is really really bad uh, i don't i don't know what's going on but i'm just you know what? i think i just need to reset my account you know like <laughs> like can i reset my mmr you know I might as well like start fresh. I do have the the plat four account, nerdy Asian girl. Um, that that's there. But yeah, as you can see here, a lot of damage being taken. One last auto, and I die. Unfortunately, minions all turned on to Jax, increasing his E spin damage. Uh, it did like a, like a hundred or something. Um, since it's early in the game, and I know that bot lane isn't going to be doing a whole lot, uh, not not that they're not going to do anything. Like they're not going to, uh, you know, be hard engaging for a while. Um, I just TP to lane. Don't want to miss any CS. Don't want to, you know, be put too far behind, especially when my wave was in that position where I it was just kind of like it was just there. I don't know, it, it was like, it was just in a weird spot. So I just go for a proxy, it's whatever, you know, I'm just here. Um, you can't see it on the map, but Maokai is right there. So that's why I know I can get away with the proxy. Right, and then I kind of don't really want to do anything, but we just go back to lane or go back or something. We just go back. I uh, just wanted to come back, get some gold really, really fast, and uh, yeah, we wait for the wait for the gold. Oh yeah. Anyways, ignoring the game. The game is happening. All right. Um. There's. See, I'm starting to automatic. Okay. So there's this guy named Corpse. Was it Corpse Husband on YouTube? But they, they've been doing very well on uh, TikTok for whatever reason because people are freaking out because he played Among Us with like PewDiePie and Jack Septicai and other people. And his his voice is like this. Like he talks like this or something. I, I can't do it. I, my voice is not deep enough. But his normal voice is like super, super deep. It's like, I don't know. I can't do it. But look him up. It's really funny. Um, one of my friends was really, was being kind of coomer, you know, oh my god, his hand is so hot, <laughs> oh my god, um, yeah, and then I sent her more videos of him, and then she's like, oh my god, he's perfect, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what happened, having a nice voice does, and having a, I guess a veiny hand. I'm not sure. Like a like a hand that looks like a fit. I don't know. So just do like a bunch of hand push-ups, right? Would that get me some girls? Should I lo lower my voice an octave like this? If I talk like this, uh, I just sound like a zombie if I talk like that. I sound like a robot. Anyways, speaking of voices, I don't think I'm using voice meter right now. No, I'm not. I'm not using voice meter right now, which is a free program that I use to make my audio sound a little more bassier, a little more radio uh, like, 
right? Adds adds a little bit of a like reverb and whatever whatever else. Um, I'm not using that right now. I think honestly I don't need it. It's not that like you know, I'm fine with my voice. I, I'm okay with it. I used to be like really high pitched, not like super high pitched, but I've I've gotten away with having like a a weird voice because like I have a weird phrasing thing, like how I pronounce things. I remember like first day English class, like fourth period. Um, I think this was I think I think this is seventh grade or eighth grade. Eighth grade. First day of eighth grade, my English teacher hears me talking with my friend, right? And she's like, why are you doing that voice? And this is back when I was watching, uh, like, Tobuscus and, like, a bunch of YouTubers, right? They all talk, they all talk like this, like, they were kind of going crazy with their voice, you know? And I talked like that. That was my normal voice that I picked up from, like, YouTube and whatever else, right? So she was like, why are you talking like that? And like, what? And then she realized that like, I normally talked like a, a dumb YouTuber with the weird pronunciation. I, I don't even know how to describe it, but that's how I just normally talked. I talked like a YouTuber. It was just that, that's how much YouTube I watched, right? Like my voice now is like a, a mix of like, a f like streamers now. Like I watch like some streamers so, and I start to talk like them. Right, and yeah, anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, that's that's what happens with most people though. Like if your friends start saying like a like a phrase, right? I don't know, they start saying like Uno a lot, right? You'll start saying Uno a lot, you know, to like fit in, right? That's, that's like normal, it's like a human thing. That's how you like adapt and like mix with each other, right? Same thing. Um... But my friends were YouTube. They were the YouTube people. I watched a lot more YouTube than hung out with people. <laughs> so I talked like a YouTuber. For a while. Um, now it's like streamers plus like friends. Which is like normal. Right? Like the content you watch. Everyone enjoys some content. Right? Um, I used to watch a lot of Doctor Who. And I, I started doing some like dumb like British pronunciation. Which was really cringe, now that I think about it. It's kind of- no, it was really cringe, dude. It was kind of like, dude, oh god, ah, oh, ah, oh, uh, ah, oh, god. I look back and I'm like, D garage, <laughs> uh, car park. Like, I would, I would like purposely go out of my way to use like, British, like, words and stuff. It was really bad. Oh god, ah oh, god. Yeah, anyways. What do you guys watch, huh? What do you guys talk like? Do you talk like a local YouTuber? You know, if you're from Brazil, do you do you speak like the famous Brazilian YouTuber from your city? Hmm? Or do you do you speak like XQC with the French Canadian accent? What do you speak like? Mm hmm okay. Right. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Nice. Alright, cool. That's very cool. Thank you for telling me. Anyways, uh, Vagar flashes. I don't even think I had a chance to kill him. Nobody was even close to me. Um, he just flashes away. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, kind of a... I guess he was scared that I was going to... I, I don't know. I don't think I was going to be able to do enough damage to kill him there, so... He flashed, like, because he freaked out. That was a panic flash. That was not a, a flash that was, like, thought out. Yeah, I talked about it before. But I just like pick up phrasing a lot. Bong bong from Daft. That talk I talked about that like probably like two months ago. And that's not very bong bong. That's not very bong shoe. 
That's from Daff. I love Daff. Great streamer. Highly recommend uh, the variety in art content. Yes. Here's a fight. We're just sort of running him down. All right. Well, let's flip the Vagar and then, oh, I get ulted. But hey, triple kill for Jin. Uh, kind of a weird interaction there. Um, because I flip Vagar away and he ults me, right? And then I bounce away, and then the ult follows, which is normal. That's part of it, right? That's right. But ah, there it is. There's Vag There's a uh, LeBlanc uh, owning owning the libs. <laughs> Oh God, I, I, I did. I hate politics. Not like that. It's not important. I, I don't like when politics are brought up because like some people are so like they're so passionate about nothing. Like they're just regurgitating like stuff, right? Like it's fine to have an opinion and stuff, but like when it's just repeated garbage, it, it just gets boring. It brings nothing to discussion, right? Like, if there's, like, a, a debate, right, they'll just say the same three things and nothing actually gets, like, done, right? Versus, like, an actual debate, you're supposed to find, like, the, the answer. You're supposed to find the truth to whatever the problem is, you know? Now it's all about, like, oh, the other side's really... Look at this guy, he's fat. Look at this guy, he's, he's a, you know, whatever else, right? Like, it's, it's always negative now. And then that makes sense, because, you know, people retain negative information more than anything else. But, like, man. Does it get, like, just repetitive, boring, and childish? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking too hard. Maybe there's some other other play here, right? Obviously, you want people to you know vote for you or whatever, so you just point out that the other guy is worse. <laughs> you know, it's not about the policies anymore. It's about like, hey, look at that dude. He's kind of weird. He's balding. You know, he's a cheater. I don't know unrelated tangent that's that's what we're we're here to talk, be this is like a podcast uh of one person talking about nothing um let's see what what is some news that happened recently hmm what like youtube drama was it ryan left the the hype house <laughs> he left the hype house <laughs> uh I, I I tried watching that video and like if you skip like every thirty seconds, he's talking about absolutely nothing. I don't even know what it was, what what he why he left the whatever the hype house is. And there's like a Charlie D'Amelio candy shop thing with James Charles. I don't know what that was about. They're just like having. They're just. Uh, I don't know. It's I'm not the audience. I'm not the audience for for those videos so so like obviously i don't understand you know i'm not i'm not the 12 year old so here i am uh wasting time with Jax because i want him to freak out right we're just here we're not doing anything we're not trying to kill him or anything but he he poops out a pink ward Right? I think that's worth. I think it's really funny. Okay, I was just here to screw with Jax. I know I cannot kill him. He's got lifesteal. He's got the Blade of the Ring King. He's got the slow. He got the... Right? I think if he actually, like, fought me, he probably would have killed me. He would have been able to. What else? H3 drama? I, I, I could... I, H3... H3 was my, like... That was my middle school to like maybe beginning high school sort of thing maybe mm, actually I don't know. I know it was high school definitely high school 
Because there's, there's a few clips on my Twitch channel of me watching the H3 podcast when it first started like two or three years ago. So, maybe, yeah, it was like three years ago, maybe, I think. Yeah, I think three years ago. Um, that's around the time where I stopped watching because I just got bored. Like a few months into the podcast after like the, the guests were just like people I didn't know or didn't care about. I just I just kind of tuned out. And now he's like on, on some other shit with like Heemstar and James Charles stealing his clothing or something. I just I don't care. He stole it. He stole it. Whatever, man. What, are you going to patent like stitched clothing? There goes LeBlanc. Uh, LeBlanc gets outplayed there. Um, just, you know, he's just the better player. You know, Vagar was just the better player. Oh, that's exactly what I said in chat. Yeah. That is me from like three days ago, so it makes sense that I would say the same thing. Yeah, it's like Halloween season. Man, I really miss LA. Man, I miss everything, dude. I miss a lot of stuff. Like two years ago, on uh, Halloween Horror Nights, I went with my friend Thomas, known as Infamous Woo, uh, on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, right? Mildly famous, kind of like a mini celebrity, right? And then we hung out with the, the Montoya twins, which are apparently have like a million subs on like YouTube or something. I don't know. They're crazy. They're like super, super big on Instagram and YouTube and now TikTok and they're doing Twitch now. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of weird. I have a small world. Because like before, I, I'd never heard of them, ever. I don't know what the, what the heck they were doing. I didn't know who they were when I when I got there. Then after I was like, oh, okay. They they did seem like the like the influencer type. You know, they, they did seem like kinda you know, they were just kinda those kind of people like they were very like professional, but not like you know, they were like fun. They were fun. You know what I mean? I d I don't know how to how else to describe it. Yeah, that was a. I think that was like a pretty clean team fight. We only lose Jin, but we kill four, I believe. Three, I don't know. There was a lot of close calls there, though. Yeah, I miss a light. What happened? Oh, you know what happened? I was spamming P, right? I was spamming the item shop and pressing escape, right? And it crashed my game. I've never had that happen before, but if you spam escape and press the item shop repeatedly, it crashed my game. I don't know why, but that's what happened. So I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why that crashed my game. I guess I overloaded it. I don't, I don't know. Super, super weird. I miss, I miss like hanging out with people. I just need I need I just need to go outside, but obviously you know social distance and safety and stuff. I need a social life. I I, I really do. I just need to like go outside. I need to go somewhere. I need to do something. Do something with my life. I need to go back to school. I was thinking about doing business. Business sounds nice. Doing like general business for school. I think that's good. I think that carries over to a lot of stuff that I can use, even if I wasn't going into like, I don't know, accounting or like, you know, making a small business by myself. I think a lot of that information that I retain from learning would be useful. I feel like I, that would be like pretty good fit for me. So I'm definitely going back, going back to school, hopefully next semester. Um, this was like my break, break year. I guess, and then I go back 
right? I don't think, dude, I think it's all online too, right? I think it's all online. So it's like, I'm good. Like, I can be anywhere and be doing stuff. So here I am wasting their time. They blow a lot on me for some reason. Um, I was hoping that Vagar would just like die. He does. He takes a really long time to die. And then I walk directly into the stun. Cause like, I guess my E canceled. So it just, I just died. It's fine. I guess. Um, Aurelia just gets to life steal and then she flashes over the wall. You could barely see the animation, but she flashes over the wall. Thresh gets an amazing hook. That hook was amazing. Okay, that that hook made me come. Okay, it was really good. It was really cool. Uh, and then Jin, uh, Jin gets ran on by Shaco. Almost, it almost happens. And then he runs into a box, and then he runs away. He's fine. This is not the end of the game. The game still still goes. All right, this is it's still going. I, I wish it ended here. You know, we just ran it down mid or something. But like, it's twenty minutes in. We have three towers. They have far more than us, right? No, they also have. No, they have two towers. But like the bottom one is already it's almost gone. So might as well count it. Um. Anyways, singed uh, is getting an indirect nerf. Uh. Nimbus Cloak is getting nerfed again. Um, I think from 10% speed to like 5% speed. And then like a bunch of other stuff. So I personally don't really use Nimbus Cloak all that much. Um, I'm using it this game because Phase Rush. But I guess I could take a... Not Mana Flow Band, right? I don't take that. What do I take? The other one, the, the magic resist or the magic shield, right? That'd actually be not bad because, like, that helps with, like, the tankiness. So, Nimbus Cloak is really, really gutted, right? Because it's at 5% speed or something. Like, it got it got nerfed. And that, that was on, it was on Twitter posted by, like, an actual Riot person saying, these are the tentative changes for next patch on PBE or whatever. It's getting, it's getting nerfed really hard. But that's because, you know, junglers run it like every game. A bunch of ADCs are running it. Everyone's using it. Like the, the frequency of use is like really, really high. So it makes sense why they would nerf it. But like, Jesus. Like Singe uses stuff so well, right? Sort of, right? He doesn't have like a real, real keystone. Okay. Old Conquer was nice. I, I miss, I miss, uh, fuck, <laughs> I, I miss uh, Courage of the Colossus, because that was good, I think that was good, it was a little unhealthy for tanks, right, it created tank meta, but like on Singed it was really really nice to have, and I felt like it was okay, right, it wasn't like overly busted, but like it helped you survive, because like what it did, right, if you don't remember, it was like two or three years ago, Essentially, if you used a hard CC on someone, like that flip, right? Depending on how many enemy champions are near you, you would get a, a shield. You would just get a shield, right? That's it. That's all it was. It wouldn't give you stats, it wouldn't do anything, it would just give you a shield. Right? Which honestly was really, really good. Because like it helped you engage and not just instantly die. Right? And like a bunch of other things. Great. Yeah, Jin is really fed. Don't worry about that, okay? Yeah, I really like that keystone. I guess some tanks like Maokai. Um I'm trying to think of like I think Echo used it at some point. Top Echo with Sunfire, Iceborne. There, there was just this time of League of Legends where every top laner just went Iceborne Sunfire because those just made you so tanky and deal so much damage that it like you could roll anyone. And that's why they nerfed Echo so many times. 
because Tank Echo was disgusting. Because he would do that, and then still like two shot your ADC. Because his his like passive damage on his W, his passive on his pa passive. His damage was nuts. Okay, his damage was nuts. That, that's all I needed to say. <laughs> it, it was disgusting, and that's why Echo got gutted so many times. Like I, I miss I miss Courage of the Colossus. Um, there's an item on Wild Rift, it seems, that also does something very similar. Uh, where it gives you a shield after CCing, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to double check on that. I hope that I get into, like, Wild Rift, uh, beta. I wanna do some Wild Rift gameplay. But, uh, oh, I should post the, the Singe stuff for Wild Rift. I think there's been two or three animations, I think three, of, uh, Singed for wild rift there's the base singed then there's surfer right i think that was just yeah and then there's um augmented and they're like properly animated like it's like an intro movie or whatever you know like a play of the game sort of thing from overwatch it was really cool um, definitely excited for Wild Rift. I don't know if I'll be playing it a lot. I heard Singe is actually a lot better on Wild Rift than, you know, live, which would make sense because you're just running around. It's not, you know, you're not going crazy. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Right, that's, that's definitely something that interests me. Yeah. Anyways, this uh, this Fagar makes this game really, really painful, cause he just does damage. You know, he just does damage. It's crazy. So I sit on top of Jin, make sure that he doesn't uh, get one tapped or whatever. Shaco dies. Thresh tries to go all in, lands a good hook on Sona, but Sona's a little too far and doesn't get pulled back a little bit. Right? Vagar, watch Vagar. Okay. He's walking up, right? He throws it down, <laughs> and then gets a double kill. <laughs> oh my god. I walked into it. I knew it was there, but like it comes up so often that I don't think about it enough. But like, Vagar damage is disgusting, and that's why he's played ADC and stuff, because he just two shots, he just goes... You know, WR. That's all he needs. Land the stun, WR. Right? Jin getting a little... Um... <laughs> outplayed. Um... It's a, what, what you want to do is dodge his W, because it's a lot of damage there. Right? But... You know, sometimes it's not enough. He doesn't have space there to dodge. He can't dodge it. And, like... I don't know. Vagar is great, though. He's a great champion. He's just really, he's really scary, and sometimes you feel scammed when you die to him. Or, like, when you lose to a Vagar, you're like, oh, his ultimate did 1400 damage. I have 200 magic resist. Does that mean it did 3000? Yes, it did do 3000. You were just outskilled. Right, anyways... Yeah, I, I, uh, I'll i try to collect the Wild Rift stuff and then upload it. I don't know if anyone else uploaded it already. I saw it floating around, but I don't know if there's actual things. So I'll, I'll, I'll put that up um, in case anyone wanted to look at it. Uh, Thresh kind of in a weird spot, and then I'm kind of in a weird spot here. I just kind of run around. I want to get this Vagar, but he kind of, he kind of, you know, right? He kind of, <laughs> kind of, you know, kind of just does damage. Um, really bad TP. Um, people were not close enough for it to be a good engage. All we really needed to do was waste their time. Because if you look top right, you can see that our minions are pushing into their base. Right, we just needed to waste their time, and that's it. Alright, we just need to exist, but not like go too crazy. 
So Jin gets a, a little too close to Shaco and essentially gets one tapped. That's the life of an AD carry. All right. It's always a fun time uh, when you're playing uh, a very skillful game. Um, you know, you just you just got to be better, I guess. I don't know. It's all positioning. So much stuff is about where you're standing in a fight. Sometimes you shouldn't even be in that fight. You should be standing top lane. You should be standing in their jungle. You know? There's so many places that you should be that um, you shouldn't. So here I'm just uh, messing with this Aurelia. I don't know what this Aurelia is doing, but apparently Vagar gets picked up by LeBlanc. Very, very nice. Now there's three people sort of in our jungle, right? I'm, I'm just going to slow the Jax. I'm not here to kill Jax. I'm going to flip the Sona, but no one's here. Where is everybody, huh? Good hook by Thresh. Right. I'm here to zone off Jax in case he wants to re-engage or whatever. Right. Sona dies. I should have saved that W. There's no way she was going to escape. Right. There was nothing. But oh well. Right. I take way too much damage there from Shaco, from Aurelia, from Jax. Right. Unfortunately. Uh, Jin uh, running for his life. Thank God he has a little bit of lifesteal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, a little greedy. Too far forward. Um, need to peel for Jin. Jin is our carry and LeBlanc. But LeBlanc doesn't really need peel. It's more on the Jin, and Jin does a lot of damage. Um, we we could have just thrown the game away right there like the two the last two plays are so so bad that they got to our nexus or at least nexus towers right it was just not good it shouldn't have happened at all the only reason we won is because vagar made dumb plays like two or three times and then it screwed up everything else it just shouldn't have happened. Like, if Vagar was, like, I don't know, maybe a higher than Diamond or whatever, it just it just shouldn't have happened. So, I Righteous Glory the moment I see someone, just for the bonus movement speed, we can easily pick up one person just randomly. Right? Easily. I run forward, right? What are they going to do? Right? Dodge the Sun ult. That's a that's a pure bait, okay? I went forward in front, right? With ghost, with ult, right? And dead man's going as well. Right? And then I suddenly swerve on purpose. Okay. It's because I wanted to bait it. Because I knew if I actually dived, I would have died. There was no way I was gonna kill Sona. I don't have AP. Right? I only have Rylize. That's it. That's all I have. I have nothing else, right? So obviously, okay, I don't go for it. You suddenly turn around, okay? Some people don't expect it. They expect you to be dumb, right? So you make them outplay themselves. They're like, oh, I'm going to outplay this Singe by stunning him under tower. Where? What stun? Yeah, this Vigor gets, like, really, really close to stuff. Which honestly just ruins the game, to be honest. He he threw the game away. He was the entire you know enemy team, to be honest. That, that's all. That's it. He was everyone. I have TP. I TP behind. Right. This is really bad because no one is close enough. Jin is on the opposite side of the map. Like, what is he gonna do? I'm walking forward for whatever reason. I should have just kept proxying. Right. This is fine. Okay. I could have kept proxying, but instead I walked into four people and died. Alright, we pick up a Shaco, but not not worth it. It wasn't worth it. It was just it was just it was a bad bad choice. Like if I ran into their base to waste time, maybe it would have been okay because I could have just ran away. 
but since they had Sono ult plus like whatever else, right? I got slowed and then I died. That was it. That was it. Um, Vagar gets hooked, gets stunned, and he gets insta tapped. Here's Jin running away from Aurelia, right? Jin landing some nice shots, saving Thrash, getting the fourth shot on Jax. Jax being very, very aggressive. LeBlanc goes for the juke, okay? That wasn't the real clone, all right? She did it. She did the alt click and stood still. Very, very well done. Meanwhile, Maokai is sort of just there in the back, healing forever. What a disgusting champion. Oh. I ping uh, that Shaco is in there. LeBlanc clearly sees it kills Shaco um, and then we we essentially we just end the game uh, Sona complains about brain dead tanks um, referring to Maokai but I also took a little bit of credit okay I did some tanking as well okay it wasn't just Maokai I did some okay I flip Vagar back you know hopefully we can get another kill on him fun for fun times right then this is just a beat down um, low cooldowns flip Bonk, bonk, you know, Jax comes in, throw the goo down, everyone backs off, and then flip him again, what's he gonna do, right, and the little beat down to, you know, increase everyone's KDAs just by a little bit, and that's game. Very fun, uh, sort of hard fought game, um, Jax was rough at first, but then I just didn't bother to fight him ever afterwards so you know that's that's you that's how you do it okay that's how you do it you can just force these engages sometimes sometimes it doesn't work like that tp and that other tp there's probably another tp that didn't work either but this this game was worth one lp for my promos and then the next game right i was eating and I accidentally dodged, and then I lost the next game. So I failed my promos because I was eating. The first time I was in promos, it was because the client or the server died and everyone left. So I was like, okay, I'll just leave too. And that counted as a loss. And then I lost the game after, and then it, it screwed everything up. My plans are ruined. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, you know, sitting in a puddle of tears. It was awful. But yeah, we'll, we'll get him next time, boys. Um, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed that gameplay, please let me know if you have any ideas for random things. Uh, even if it's unrelated to the channel. Also, just yell at me. Okay? Just, just, just shoot me. Okay, with ideas. Okay? Yeah. Um, and, uh, roll outro. Did you enjoy this? Was this fun? Was this entertaining? Was me talking about random nonsense entertaining? Did you enjoy that? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, dislike the video please. So I know. Or comment on the video. Tell me what your favorite random story was. I should tell more stories for no reason. Wow.